Right, I got it. Right, I got it. Having some trouble? Uh, Remember, you can always go back and undo some of your moves. Just trying. Damn it! How dare she go to some young bastard? Hey, it's you. Just watch. I'll get her back. She will be mine. Hey, what happened? <laughs> I think I may have killed too many of them. Dude, if you come near me while I'm climbing, I'm pushing your crazy ass off. <laughs> Good for you. A fight to the death sounds fun, too. Damn it. Come on, let's start climbing. I want to see more blood. Hey, I'm here. I see you. Take a seat. Oh, man. I knew you'd come. I'm not surprised anymore. Any sheep who made it this far wouldn't die so easily now. This is the twelfth question. What would you order at a restaurant you've never been to before? That's right. The eighth floor, the cathedral, is where you will find an end to this. And freedom. Do you remember what we talked about last time? The path of freedom will be open to those who reach the holy pinnacle. If you make it, what kind of freedom would you want? Listen to you. Isn't it obvious? The freedom to love whoever I want. <laughs> I see. Let's hurry then. There's still more levels on this floor. Bring it on.
the trial stages continue on. Some locations will allow you to change your path. Choose the one that makes for an easier climb. Looks like I still have a ways to go. No choice. Commencing area three. Are you ready? This you may wish to undo and try a new strategy. First, now sit. Oh, man. Hello. It seems you've survived. 
just as I predicted. But this level will be overcome just through experience. You'll need luck as well. I see something special in you. Like the man who climbed this entire tower long ago. So somebody got out of here before. I'm gonna do even better than he did. I've made up my mind. I'm gonna make it happen. This is the 13th question. What kind of movie would you rather watch? seems to be true. You've come more than halfway up this level. After two more trials, it will end. You will then be at the cathedral. It doesn't matter where I am anymore. I'm gonna keep climbing until I've reached the goal. I'm gonna settle everything tomorrow. Then I can tell Ren how I feel. This is the final challenge, a 10-story wall. Use your mind to create a path to the entrance for the next area. Not gonna die. Commencing area four. Are you ready? Well, I'm almost there. All right, I got it. All right, I got it. Ooh. 
it's empty. Damn it! Damn it! How dare she go to some young bastard? Just watch. I'll get her back. She will be mine. Are you the only one here? Where are the others? They're not all dead, are they? Shut up! Don't talk to me! Sorry. Everyone, I hope you're all right. Ah, oh, damn it. Is that exhaustion I sense? Sit down and rest. Oh, man. Welcome, little lamb. The next round is the final trial for this stage. You seem to have made peace with yourself, but some sheep have trouble accepting their losses. Making a decision means leaving other possibilities behind. Are you okay with that? There's so much shit already. Nothing is gonna scare me off now. This is the 14th question. Deep down, do you wish you could transform? Questions. Well, you're almost there. I'll say goodbye to you here. Only a very small number of sheep have ever reached the cathedral. In this century, you're the first. Ugh. I hear there are more holy stairs with red carpet at the top of the cathedral. Get there, but don't let go of what's important to you. If you can, then you'll be free. It's important to me. I don't know. But I'll worry about tomorrow, tomorrow. In any case, I'm getting the hell out of here. Now hurry up and take me up there. Well, I'll lead you to the next trial. This is the final area for tonight. The glowing black hole blocks suck in anything placed on top of them. Avoid stepping on them. Once you pass this area, you'll reach your final destination, the cathedral. Vincent Brooks. <laughs> Who's there? Time to be dead. Edge. 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 Edge.
got it. Edge. Edge. Dentist. I see. That voice. You're Vincent, aren't you? What a twist of fate. It looks like I'm cursed. You figured something out? I've been cursed by Catherine. <laughs> How do you get a curse from that? Don't you get it? You're cursed too. It's revenge. Trail. Revenge? And the Catherine you're talking about is... such splendid work. The spiral... As I mentioned, the decision you've made could lead to untold adversity. Bear in mind that actions speak louder than words. Just wait until tomorrow. You'll see what I mean. We're entering uncharted territory. Time to kick off the real story. Sleep. Nightmares just keep coming. Mm -hmm. I had a dream where I felt dead. I struggled and struggled, like I was being chased by something crazy. Mm -hmm. Yo, you listening? Hey, Orlando. Man, we've had these crazy dreams every night. So how come we can't remember them clearly? Huh? Now that you mention it, I just. I can't shake this feeling. I, uh, I can't remember. The series of mysterious male deaths continues with another gruesome discussion. 
discovery this morning. Local dentist Steve Delhomme, age 42, was found dead at his home. His wife, who he'd been feuding with, found him dead in his sleep this morning. Like the other victims, his body was in an atypically weakened state, inconsistent with known causes of sudden death. It can't be. Hey, uh, you all right, man? Whoa. That dead guy on the news just now, I know that guy. He lived in my neighborhood. The police came this morning. Oh, God, it was so loud. That sounds like a bad way to start the morning. That bastard was cheating on his wife with a younger woman. The entire neighborhood knew because he bragged about it to everyone. What a you gotta feel bad for the kids in that situation. Oh, they didn't have any kids. But still, what a horrible man. Hey, what is it? We met last night. In my dream. Huh? Met who? I remember now. It was him. He died in my dream. Him? The guy in the news? <laughs> That's crazy talk, man. What did he say? Oh, that's right. It's, it's starting to come back to me now. He said it was a curse. Because he betrayed someone. Hey, cut that out. You're trying to tell me he was killed in his dreams or something? You are fucking crazy. Well, maybe not. Think about it. The rumor? Maybe it's true. The dreams we've been having every night. Did you honestly just say that? How does this tie in with betrayal? I'm the one that got betrayed. Yeah. Sorry. Enough bullshit. We just can't think straight because we're too damn tired. We wake up all bleary-eyed and the world's full of rumors. Then we can't sleep because all this crazy shit's stuck in our heads. Y you're probably right. Exactly. I didn't betray anyone. I was the one who was betrayed. So why is... Fuck. I didn't mean to bring that up. I was I was just thinking. Ah, uh, it's all stupid. Yeah. <sighs> what about you? You still feeling what you said yesterday? Yeah. I'll talk to that girl and put an end to it. And then I'll tell Catherine the truth. I doubt she'll forgive me, but I'll apologize. As much as it takes. Whatever she needs, I'll handle it. Whatever she needs. Except marriage, right? That's... that's bold, man. Yeah, I know it's selfish, but is it really any better to keep dragging her along when my heart's just not in it anymore? I want to do right by her. If she needs child support, I'll even take a second job. I mean, if I don't carry my weight, I have no right to run off with men. Yeah, if you're serious, man, I'm not gonna stop you. Go on and face the music. Uh, she's gonna kill me. Oh, yeah. That shit's gonna be brutal. Eh, don't worry. I'll take care of the body. No oh, good. Thanks. Hey, what's up with Vincent over there? Just leave him alone. Don't get messed up and all that. Oh, hey, there's something I wanted to tell you. Check this out. Yesterday, I finally became a man. Got rid of my V card. Boom. Uh, wait, back up. With who? Take a wild guess. It shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> Erica. Yep, bingo. Sorry, I got to her first, man. <sighs> Seriously? Yeah, but there was something weird about it. You know, I can't really explain it. It's probably just because it was my first time. Maybe, you know, just my imagination, but... So, so what happened to Johnny? You come here by yourself? <laughs> yeah, he's not coming today. He, uh, looked pretty bad earlier. <sighs> I see. Kind of weird everyone's tired all the time, huh? Vincent's infected us, damn it. <sighs> I'm getting a headache. Come on, Toby. Let's head out. Yeah, okay. So you see, I mean, there's nothing wrong with you. <sighs> so then there's someone else, isn't there? Yeah. I've been meaning to tell you all this time, but I couldn't. I had a lot of things on my mind, and then you came along. I guess I was just trying to escape reality. 
Look, I, I'm sorry. <sighs> Okay, so what? What? It's fine. I already knew you liked someone else. As long as I'm your number one, you can have your fun. Well, you might not mind, but I do. Why? Why? What do you mean, why? I I'm trying to be the good guy here. I want to stay faithful. Do you have a kid or something? Actually, yeah, but that's with someone else. What? Wait, who is this about? Well... <sighs> wow, I see. Fine, let's break up. Are, are you sure? I'm glad you understand. who caused all this. <sighs> I'm counting on you to handle it. Of course. something to tell you too <sighs> it's bad news isn't it um yeah that being the case let's discuss in person tomorrow all right i'll see you then i'll come to your apartment in the morning oh but i should at least tell you this i'm not pregnant uh huh good night a mail. So you ended things with that girl you were cheating with, huh? Yeah. And tomorrow I'm going to talk to Catherine. She'll probably be hurt, but I can't run from this. You need to be honest with your feelings. If you can do that, I'm sure Catherine will understand. She's just that kind of person. You need to face her. And yourself. You can always ask me for advice. I'm your relationship counselor after all. Okay, Mom. Hey, you okay? It's okay. I look bad, but I have a feeling I'll be able to sleep well tonight. That's good to hear. And I'm sure Rin will be back soon. Yeah, you're right. See ya.
is that noise? Wait, is Ren back? Okay, I can finally say it. Ren, there's something that I need to tell you. This was why you wanted to break up with me. Then I couldn't have that. So, you know, I took care of the problem. What have you done? And you know what else? As a thank you for betraying me. I'm gonna kill you too! Welcome back. Something wrong? In the other room. Ren was killed, and... Oh, no! Someone beat me to it. <laughs> Come on, I always knew. You've been cheating on me, with two different people, no less. Why couldn't you be happy with just me? Am I really that undesirable? No, no, it's not... Come on, calm down. Okay, Catherine? Oh, I'm perfectly calm. I know exactly what'll happen if I bring this axe down. Vincent! I'll never forgive you for choosing that thing over me! Let me kill you already! <laughs> Enough of this. Don't worry. I'll kill you before she does! <laughs> Another thing in my way? You're the one in the way! <laughs> what the hell is your problem? Get out of here, you old hag! Calm down! Both of you just... <laughs> <laughs> This final stage requires you and Rin to reach the goal together. Carefully lead the way to allow you both to escape this challenge. Yeah! 
Catherine has appeared. It's the killer. Do not die. All right. All right. All right, I got it. All right. All right, I got it. All right, I got it. All right. All right, I got it. I got it. Rin, we're almost there. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? Yeah. I know I reacted poorly when I saw you that day, but I'm over it now. I want to be with you, Rin. <sighs> I, I realize how important you are to me. Vincent! Come on. <sighs> <laughs> oh! Watch out! Too bad! Just a nightmare. No. That had to be.
to be real. Rin? Uh, Catherine, what are you doing here? I called you yesterday. We need to talk. Uh, oh, right. Uh, sorry. Catherine, I'm... I'm sorry. Stop groveling. You're not the only one in the wrong here. The truth is... I found out a while ago I wasn't really pregnant. Really? I just... wanted to know what you were thinking first, but... and I couldn't manage to bring it up. Honestly, a part of me was relieved when I found out I wasn't pregnant. That's when I knew. That if we did have a child... Things wouldn't work out for us in the end. So, before things get any worse, let's break up. Catherine... Don't look at me like that. It's for our own good. Let's move on and enjoy our own lives. But you'd better not regret it when I become a better woman in the future. Oh. Could you throw out my things? It wouldn't be good to keep that lying around. Yeah, got it. And one last thing. This new lover of yours, what kind of woman is she? Well, the thing is, woman might not be the best word. Huh? You mean, it's not a woman? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh. They must really be something special. <sighs> I didn't stand a chance, huh? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I told you to stop doing that. Oh, oh, it feels good to get that off my chest. Maybe I'll start by finding a new hobby. See ya. So, you find any leads on Rin? None. All my calls go to voicemail. I keep checking those deaths in the news, but nothing. Which means Rin's gotta be out there somewhere. Whoa, whoa, hold on a sec. What do those deaths have to do with anything? <sighs> that shit couldn't have just been a dream. I don't buy it. Huh? What are you, crazy man? You thought Catherine died, too, and then she showed right back up at your apartment. That's true, I guess. But my hand was still warm when I woke up. What kind of dream is that? Ah, come on. You're probably just holding your own hand in your sleep, you weirdo. Look, man. If Rain ghosted you, you might just need to take the hint. Though, I guess that means you broke up with Catherine. No, I'm telling you, in the dream, we were together. Okay, Vince. If you're mixing up dreams and reality, I think you finally lost it. Then what the hell was it? Watch it. What are you snapping at me for? I'm sorry. From what I remember, we were on that crazy staircase, trying to get away from some fucked up Catherine. But as we got to the top, there was a flash of lightning. Oh, too bad. Voice sounded like it. No fucking way! What the hell, dude? Hey, Papa Hernia? No, no, you idiot. I'm heading out. Wait, what? Hold on. You! You know something about Rin, don't you? I haven't a clue what you mean. That voice that I heard in my nightmare, that was you, wasn't it? Pardon me, sir. A nightmare is merely a dream, is it not? Dream? Reality? I don't care anymore! You are the only lead I've got, so you better start talking! 
Let go of me, please. I have nothing to do with this. Bullshit. Please, I'll stop the nightmares. What? What do you mean? What do you mean you'll stop them? Are you telling me you are the cause of these nightmares? Answer me! Uh, well, I wonder... I wonder my ass. You just said it! Did I? You heard it, right? Huh? Um, yeah. See? I didn't. Tell me! <laughs> and what is with these fucking shades? You are indoors! Yourself, you fucking monster! <clears throat> Allow me to introduce myself. I, Thomas Mutton, am... Okay, to sum it up, when there are people like you who spend a long amount of time with a partner without commitment, it impedes the population model. The rate of population growth is less than optimal. Wasting a woman's time of greatest fertility is a hindrance to the future of the species. So we separate these non-fruitful couples and redistribute the women to men who can follow the natural order you see. Okay, so what? You're just killing men who have a partner that they don't want to marry. Is that it? Well, to put it bluntly, it is a sacrifice for a noble cause. And we would have completed it if it weren't for that nasty pianist showing up every night with that strange power. It's not human. One might believe it is the work of an angel. What, what the hell does that mean? Ugh. Playing that piano without my permission. As a result, the sheep are not dying on schedule. Not to mention, it sounds horrendous! At least I was able to lay a successful trap, using your nightmare as bait. <sighs> Do you really think I give a damn about what you just said? Give it to me straight. You caused Ren's disappearance. Well, yes, that about sums it up. That's all you had to say. Now let Rin go! If you refuse to concede, the only option left is to die in the nightmare. If that's what it fucking takes, I'll do it! Now take me there, right now! There's no need for that. Simply wait for nightfall, as always. Fine, but you better believe we're coming back alive. <laughs> you seem confident. Tonight. I will show you what I can really do. Bring it on. Sup? You here already? What do you say we get our drink on? Hey, is everything all right? Uh, guys, Boss and Vincent are... It's okay, don't say anything. Uh, sorry, just got a lead on Ren and we're just wrapping things up here. <laughs> you guys uh, start the party without me, huh? Sure, but, uh, take it easy, all right? No, no, don't worry. We're just playing some games here, right? I yes, that's right. <laughs> so, to pick up where we left off, if you can control the nightmares, make this one the last. For everybody, not just me. Uh, that's absurd. Uh, very well. Not like you'll live to see it. 
Uh, hey, Vincent, are you sure about this? <sighs> Sorry to make you worry. Trust me, I'll be fine. I just need to bring back someone important to me. And I won't fail. What's with him? Acting all badass? So wait, boss, you said... Huh? Boss? You got a mail. Are you going home, Vincent? So worry, Erica. You'll be okay. Have some faith in me. You'll see me tomorrow. Okay. Is Rin all right? Don't worry. I'll take care of it. I'll see you later.